nine and two. This is the Birmingham, Louisiana game, the WFL game. Louisiana is the old Houston Texans. They officially moved to Louisiana to Shreveport yesterday. And uh, they're wearing Texan uniforms. They're calling them Louisiana. First down, Americans. Wide to the right, Jenkins, in the slot, right, Holman. Central in motion. That's the tight end again, Bob Brown. He fumbles the ball, a wild scramble, and Louisiana is recovered in the seven-yard line. Art McMahon, I believe, covered it. Very good. Even the best late plans sometimes go astray. Great play, well executed. Look at Bob Brown there. Everybody's cleared that whole right side. They're taking everybody out of there. The linebackers, everybody are deep. He goes underneath it. Bob Brown is extremely quick, accelerates well, but right there you see that helmet knock it loose, and there's the ball coming out. Art McMahon. Well, Richmond Flowers had the pop that jarred the ball uh, loose, and McMahon, I believe, will get the recovery at the seven-yard line, and Louisiana with 53 seconds left to go. We'll have a first down. You know, uh, we said at the top of the ball game, the Richmond Flowers, it, has been working as, uh, what, assistant to the president down there? I guess he can justify giving himself a raise now. <laughs> well, he just joined the active roster a couple of weeks ago. David Mays operating at quarterback for Louisiana. <laughs> Warren McVay, five, six, seven. It is now a first down and five. Jim Teal, check that second down five, beg your pardon. Jim Teal on the last tackle. There's the time running out. 15 to 14 the score, Birmingham. David Mays letting the clock, clock run. Jim Nance takes it across the 15 to the 16. Butch Brezina making a stop, and you see the clock running out here to end the first half. Coming in the second half team, uh, he put them in, and also a great fourth quarter ball club. Let's go down to the field and Paul Horning. Well, George, it's fantastic first half, and I left the box with 12 out of 16 for 196 yards, unofficially about 16 out of... Uh, 20 in that first half, they must be giving you a lot of room. You're getting good pass protection, but that coverage back there, they're leaving Holman open quite a bit, too. Yes, they are. We're running a, a few crossing patterns. We run a lot of play action, which is which is the beginning of the game was holding their linebackers. They allowed, uh, just before the half was in, and they were just dropping their linebackers off, and I was just trying to come underneath of the linebackers uh, with the two split big guys coming underneath, uh, hitting the tight end coming underneath. But still, uh, they're giving it to us. They're doing nothing but double zone and uh, what we call a two coverage, just a regular row zone with a, with a fourth with a corner. How did you expect this kind of a game considering what uh, Louisiana is going through this afternoon? Well, I'll tell you what, you've got to give a lot of credit. I know they're going through uh, uh, a hectic period there, you know, having to move the franchise over to Louisiana and, uh, of course, uh, you know, they coach uh, not being with them, but uh, they are putting on a, a, a good performance and, and coming out with a good effort, and, and you've got to give them a lot of credit. Do you guys get tired of winning ball games in the last minute? Oh, you're not kidding. I'll tell you, we've been trying to get a solid... And Joe Prophet are back deep for the Americans. This is Charlie Durkee out of Oklahoma State. Jimmy Edwards got to chase it. And he's going to run it out of the end zone. At the 10. Tagged on the 15 and bounced down at about the 17 by Durfee Thompson, a linebacker. So Jimmy Edwards brings it back, and the Americans take over first and 10 of their own 17. And I think Jimmy Edwards has heard he's really uh, coming off the field very slowly and bent over. It's on the sidelines there. I think he either got some 
wind knocked out of him or might have hurt a rib. There he is. Jimmy Edwards, fine running back, and he's small but powerful. Paul Robinson, 18, has replaced him along with Charlie Haraway. There are the setbacks as Holman moves out of the eye. Robinson in motion. Haraway across the 20 to the 21, almost the 22. Garland Boyette, 52, is on the stop. And in the first half, the statistical story of the ball game, Birmingham, 245 total yards, 265 for Louisiana. 233 of the Birmingham yards came via the airlines by George Myra, 97 for Louisiana. And the fine young quarterback there, David Mays. Second down, five. Haraway again. And if he doesn't have the first down, he will be close to it. I believe he has the first down. Willie Jones, 72. We'll be getting off the bottom of the pile. First down, Birmingham Americans. David Mays, the rookie quarterback of Louisiana, who has performed very well tonight, talking with the coaches upstairs. He sure has. He's uh, really impressed me, Hawk. I don't know. I know he has you the way he stayed in the pocket, and when he has run out of the pocket, he's found a receiver. It's a great line play there by Jim Craig when Bob Wolf had been getting the job done. Quarterbacks to run it there. Yeah. Myron, third and eight. He's got that man again, and that man is Alfred Jenkins at the 20-yard line. Art McMahon made the tackle. They'll mark the ball in the 21. And one thing about Myron Merle, when he's on and when he's hitting these receivers, he puts the ball in there. Watch this. Now, Jenkins makes a real fine move, finding the hole. He keeps coming, Hawk. That's a well-coached team, Paul. There's just too many earmarks. All the receivers know where to go. They know when to stop and when to continue running. The quarterback reading the coverage as well. It's a well-coached team. Congratulations to Jack Goda and the rest of his staff. From Ironwood, Michigan, which is three blocks from Hurley, Wisconsin. 25-yard pickup on the play. First down, Birmingham. Myra in control. Goes to the sideline to Cantrell. He's out of bounds on the 14. Art McMahon had the coverage and a gain of seven for Art Cantrell. That pass protection really is holding up. You know, the quarterbacks for Birmingham have only been sacked 11 times the entire season. That's super. Well, that goes, uh, I think, a little bit to the credit of Mara, too, and being the veteran that he is. He's got a quick release. And one thing about it, he uses a lot of these short patterns, these crossing patterns, and uh, he doesn't try to throw the bomb three out of four plays with 11 sacks in 11 games and five of those came in the first game that's so not bad 300 yards passing you're only leading by one point this is exciting football second and three for Birmingham Cantrell bangs inside the 10 to the 9 it'll be first and goal to goal Gain of four for Art Cantrell out of LSU. I'll tell you one thing about those LSU boys, Mario. There's not any of them that come out that do not weightlift and are on the weightlifting program. They were the first ones, I believe, in college to start the strength program. Isometrics, Alvin Roy down. When Jimmy Taylor came into the league at Green Bay, he was uh, as physical a 212-pound running back as you'll ever see in your no life. All muscle, that. most of them are. First and goal for Myra. Incomplete to Cantrell on the sixth. The ball is just barely inside the 10-yard line, which would make it first and goal. Cantrell, by the way, was the second leading ground gainer in LSU history to one Billy Cannon. Yes, sir. Well, four out of the five games last night were decided by a touchdown or less, and 37 of all 71 season games by seven points or less in the WFL. And the score here is Birmingham 15, Louisiana 14 in the third quarter with 5.18 to play. The Portland Storm's starting to come on a little bit now. Yes, sir. Nick Corey's done a good job out there. I'm known as a gambler myself, you know. <laughs> oh. I'd have to go for it. Oh, buddy. I'm glad I didn't say that. <laughs> Fourth down and goal to go, and what play is George Myra calling in the Birmingham huddle? 9.50 to play in the game. Birmingham 26, Louisiana 14. Here it is, fourth and goal. Okay, I love something here that hits quick. Forget those off tackle power plays here. You gotta pop it in the hole quick. Oh, on, Haraway. Haraway, easy. How many times have you seen Green Bay run that same play? I tell you, it's man on man. And the, I didn't know if it was Prophet 
watch Paul Robinson. I think it's the other back. He really gets a block there and enables him just to walk in. All right, let's see Robinson's block. He'll be blocking on that linebacker in all probability, and he just bounced outside. Charlie Haraway taking it in. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Now watch the linebacker or this uh, safety, whoever they bring up, fill that outside. Now watch the and block the here. There block. it is. There it is. It's on point. Paul Robinson doing his job, Haraway, bouncing outside, taking it in for the score. The action point with a flag down. Alfred Jenkins caught it. I think he was interfered with by number 23. It's going to be good, naturally. Daryl Johnson co covering him over there from Morgan State. Was it against Birmingham? Interference call against uh, Darrell Johnson, and the action point is good. We're down to 9.31 to play in the game. Timeout on the field. The score now, Birmingham 34, Louisiana 14.